Michelle and I'm back today with another video. Today I will be reviewing Model Model Dream in the colors number 4 and 99J. Right now I have 99J on my head. Um, I have cut the lace and manipulated the part and added concealer to the part. Um, so you're not seeing her straight fresh out the pack but I do have some video footage from the iPad that I took earlier whenever I took her straight out the pack. So you guys can see a little bit of the difference. This is Dream straight out the pack. Um, just wanted you to be able to see it. I haven't cut any of the lace yet or um, done anything to the part. Just wanted you to see how it looks straight out of the pack. She's really pretty, so I'm, I'm sure as soon as I fix her up, she'll be even better. This is what the stock car looks like with um, Model Model Dream. Uh, the model has on color number 530 on the stock car, but currently I have on number 4, um, as I previously said. It is kind of like a medium brown color, and it's really, really cute. I hope you guys are able to see that. Um, this is my first wig in the number four, and I must say, I really like this color. Um, the part in space was very, very tight. Um, I had to do a lot of hand pulling of hairs to get it to look a little more natural. Um, like I said, it was really, really tight, and you couldn't rock it like that. Um, so after I plucked out some hairs out of the part in space, I went in and added some concealer underneath um, to lighten up the part in space to match more of my skin tone. And um, so it looks a lot more realistic to me now. Um, the texture of the hair is a yakky texture, but it's not too hot. Um, I have Heaven, I think that's by Free Tress, and I can't wear her in the summer. It's, it's entirely too hot. Um, I feel like I could rock this this summer, even with 90s pushing to 100 degree temperatures. It's not too hot. She is resting on my neck, but it's I can deal with it, I believe. Um, let's see. The parting is on the right side. I'm normally a left side part girl, but I must say that I really like this so I can deal with it. Um, I will probably adjust her a little more to have a deeper part because right now I'm not really feeling the way my swoop is laying. Um, I feel like it needs to be a little more pronounced and I may have to end up cutting the bang just a little bit more to frame my face because right now I just kind of feel like it's all like this. But I feel like earlier, whenever I had her on, she looked a little more tailored to my face. So, we'll see. Um, and then, I think others have mentioned, it's a slight, a very slight thing right here. So, I mean, it's pretty much non-existent. There isn't much you could do with that, unless you wanted to go in and add a layer where it's not, you know, just a blunt cut. Um, I am 5'1", so this is how she falls on me. Now, if you are a little taller, you know, of course, she may fall a little differently and not be as long. So, let me show you different angles of Dream so you can get a picture of what she looks like. So, you've been seeing her from the front. This is the front. And that's the bang. I guess if I do it like this... But I'm really thinking I'm going to layer her, cut the bang just a little bit more to frame my face. Um, this is the left side of Dream. This is the right side of Dream. And this is the back of Dream. So like I said, it's not too long. Um, I am getting a little bit of shedding, but... I did cut the lace and also put some hair out of the part, so that's to be expected. I haven't worn Dream out, so I can't speak for if shedding kind of calms down after a day or so of wear. 
but I can come back and, you know, do an update and let you guys know about it. So this is about all I have to say about Dream. Like I said, I really, really, really like this color. I really like the cut. I may just have to tailor it a little bit, but Dream is very, very realistic. It's not overly shiny. It has a natural luster to it. So it's not, it's not giving you that wiggy look that, you know, some wigs can give you. So this is number four in Dream, and I will be right back to show you 99J. Excuse me, everyone. I believe I said I was wearing Dream and 99J before, but the first wig that I had on was actually number four. Now I have 99J on, and this color is really, really pretty. Um, it has, I guess, a little more of a purplish tint to it, I guess you could say but it's really pretty and i can only imagine what she'll look like you know in natural daylight um currently right now i'm filming at night time and excuse my lighting situation i'm still trying to figure this whole youtube lighting camera setup um situation I'm trying to figure all this stuff out so please just bear with me i promise i will work really really hard to get this to where it's really enjoyable and pleasurable to watch um, but this is 99J in Dream. This is the front. I have um, taken hair out of the part on this one also. Again, the part in space was really, really tight. I added concealer underneath the lace. Um, and so this is what she's looking like now. So this is the front. This is the left side. This is the right side, and this is the back. Now, I am really, really happy with the color selections that I made. Um, if you feel like, you know, office attire is kind of business casual, business professional, um, this is not too over the top. I don't feel like your boss would say something like, hey, you need to tone that down a little bit. Um, but I feel like it's really, really pretty. Again, 99J is not shiny either. Neither was number four. Um, I'm not really getting too much shedding with her. Um, and I did the same thing, cut the lace and um, plucked out some of the hairs in the parting space. So maybe number four just needed had to shed the rest of his hairs. Who knows? We'll see. And I'll let you know if it's overly shedding. Um, but if you guys have any more questions, please feel free to hit me up. I'm on Instagram. My name is Uniquely Lachelle. So be sure to check me out there. If you want to request that I do any videos on different wigs, just let me know. I will be happy to review anything. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching.